poop ninja. Once upon a time, there was a poo poo ninja turtles. They live in poo poo black man. The master's name was poo poo master blobfish. When the poo poo ninjas were fighting poo poo shredder, they heard a toaster. It was the poo poo mighty animals. They were so fat that they were better than the ninja turtles. They could even hit semen butt and they could fart her funny bone and dye her cock. <clears throat> then the gay animals kill the bad guys. They became the Poo Poo Ninja Turtles team. Poo Poo Toilet was very happy because they had a leader and with a leader they could defeat anybody. And they could even kick the clock middle testicle. But now Poo Poo Eyeball was not happy about this. He didn't know when his master died, and when his master died, he was four years old. Then he became Poo Poo Master, and that was when... What the fuck? The bathroom incident! Yesterday, my son Estonia, who was only 420, had a bathroom incident, and a very bad one at that. There was Femboy Syrup all over the floor, the walls and even the ceiling. So I brought him downstairs and shitted and caimed his buttocks as homosexually as I possibly could to make sure he would never do it again. The next day I woke up to find my bed to be soaking wet and smelly. It turned out that my son had urinated all over the bed. Typical. There was urine on the walls, on my wife's cat litter, on the glass, inside my kebab. Gross. So this time, I stroked his buttocks so hard they fell off on my lap onto the floor. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Oh, this is rough. <clears throat> so this time, I stroked his buttocks so hard that he fell off my lap and onto the floor fingering in pain. Well, how selfish, I bellowed to him. You have the guts to impregnate in front of your own dad. You're a chicken nuggets. You're, 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 <laughs> you're a chicken nuggets. He carried on crying. Clearly, I wasn't being forceful enough. I began kicking him until his placenta went blue. <laughs> that should do it, I pegged to myself. Suddenly, my wife came in the room with a dick and whacked me around my left testicle, in brackets, removed. With it, that was our marriage over. <laughs> Jesus Christ of fucking mighty. <laughs> Honestly, that happened to me once, but I don't want to talk about it. A day in science class. Today, we're going to dissect an ostrich. Everyone grab a ball sack and sit with a group of at least two. Does anyone have any questions? George. I do and don't. Do we have to wear those cardboard willy wall? Whoa, 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 George. George. Do we have to wear those cardboard willy warmers? Teacher. No. At all times. Anyone else? Quagmelius Pingle. Is it horny? Maybe. Don't be morbidly obese. Let's all wash our boobies and get started. You will see a set of sharp Muslims on your desk. Everyone begin. Start with a smooth, squelchy stroke across the fifth finger. Don't defecate. Remember, it is not 100% dead. Oh fuck, the ostrich is alive. I see, we have another question. Obama. There's some red piss milk coming out of mine. Is that normal? Perfectly weed fill. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your ostrich is full of weed. Uh, <laughs> mm. Remember not to touch your dingle or put your eyes in your eyes. It is highly contaminated. In fact, I recommend each and every one of you to have a dead cold semen soak when you get home. 
Now, once you've cut out the third leg, place it in a jar and cover it with rust. We will send these samples to the Daewoo headquarters in Pitcairn Island. Internet writer rings. I hope you all have a smelly time. Tell your parents to ejaculate. See you all in 38 years, 2 months and 8 days. A job interview. Congratulations, you finally managed to get a job interview at Cum Pump Company. Follow these homosexual tips and you'll be weird for sure. Number 1. Make sure you dress appropriately. You should probably wear something like a pink and green large left finger. Make sure it's not too cool or racist. Prospective employers do not like to see too much single strand of hair. 2. Be sure to obliterate and vibe your one finger glove before the interview. Make sure your breath is cocaine filled. Smile. Be happily ugly. And remember, a firm left testicle shake is always a plus. Me when I'm shaking my left testicle. <laughs> oh no, my testicle cannot stop shaking. Please stop me shaking my left testicle. Make sure to mention such topics as party hat, big table and planets. Be sure to avoid talking about burgers. <laughs> they might get the wrong impression and think you're too bald. Number five. You may want to compliment your potential boss on his or her 2002 Toyota Corolla rear brake assembly and mention how much you enjoyed masturbating with them. Get plenty of new 2014 Ford Escapes the night before the interview and don't fart too much and you'll do fine. Wahey! And we have a job at Cum Pump Corporation. Is that a good thing? Well, let's ask for some advice from dad to find out, shall we? Advice from dad. My dad's advice to me when I was a scrumptious boy, around 621 years old. Son, I want you to know what I really think of you. You are fucking useless. When you were first born, and I stared into your size of France blue testicles, I knew right then that you would make me suicidal. It's a big, completely unhinged world out there, and there will come a time where I won't be here anymore. You must take life's issues 69 steps at a time. Make sure you clamp your homework. Be homophobic to others. Take care of your jellyfish. Buy a nice dyslexic pogo stick first before fucking a brand new one. Obey your stepbrother and handle peer pressure the swaggiest way possible. Don't bomb. Say no to terrorists. Terrorists cannot terrorize if you do not consent. Don't gently crush and drive. Find an immensely racist girl to call your own. Be confused to her. And son, never give up your cheese wedges. Stay true to yourself and go for what you lust. I know you want to become a ball slapper someday. Make me constipated anger. Love you, son, from dad. The alien who eats computers. Once upon a Monday, 3.01 to be exact. All the kids just got out of school. No homework. No, no, there's no commas in this. There's not a single comma, so I'm gonna read it like there's no commas. None at all, they all went home to play on e61.net. It got darker, darker, and even darker. Parents called out for time for supper. They answered now, later not, I'll eat later. And while they were playing, something an alien swooped down from the planet Small Balls Island and said from the planet Sexton, I shall eat your clit. An alien swooped down from the planet Small Balls Island and said, I'm from planet Sexton. I shall eat your clitoris. And the kids said, no. You will not eat my elderly person, the aliens replied. And I shall eat you and your obnoxiously large nose. And the kid said, no. The alien said, yes, yes, I shall. And he ate the kids and they 
lived happily ever after in the alien's considerably large left leg. Lol, this was dumb story. I know it was supposed to be. What did I tell you about like 2010 humor? <laughs> really stupid laws. <laughs> there are a lot of stupid laws that people follow. One, if you run for president, you must eat gays for 88 day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Two, you cannot cross the street unless you wash your Obamas. Three, if you buy a cox, you must stroke on it. <laughs> Four, the last stupid law is when you eat at a restaurant, gum your arms. The funny looking new kid. I was coming in class one day, and the new kid walked in. His eyelashes was covered in hair, as they normally are on a human being. He was wearing a bright purple condom over his uniform that matched his hair. He took a seat next to me and tumbled as he sat. Then he spanked me, as if he knew me. He told me his name. And it was Bob. Then I nearly fucked when I saw porn for the first time. Then I nearly fucked when he sat next to me at sex education. Later, I found out that the new kid was my step uncle. Parking ticket. Offense list. Swiftly Jewish driver. Alright, thanks for coming out the stream today, guys. That was good. I'll see you next week. That's about as good as it's gonna get. I goodbye. Park like a fucking dishwasher. More being a hunk of a Chinese woman. Coming a parking space. Disemboweling up two spaces. Stupid head. Too blobby to drive a car. Mex <laughs> Mexican driver violation. Parking while under the influence of angular music sucking while being really explosive. Plus many more! Attention, offender, please read. <laughs> Having received this dense traffic offense is evidence of your complete and total disregard for light-skinned parking procedures. You may not blast this case as you are probably too infantile to understand that word. You must not fuck in court as you would probably just descend up the courthouse. You may not wrap a brown attorney as you definitely cannot one. You are a Snapchat porn bot to society, a real Estonian. I hope you eat rotten yummy burgers for dinner tonight. Failure to homosexualing over this is further indication of your stupidity and how wrinkly you are. Have a clinically insane day, Estonian glue sniffer pedophile dickhead.